Hey, I want to take a look at some really interesting equations that involve exponential uh, objects with the natural e, that special number e in it. And so the exponential equation that I want us to look at right now is to see if we can actually solve 5e to the negative 3x plus 1 equals 11. So let me just kind of talk you through how I look at this thing, and then we're going to actually figure out how to solve it. It's not nearly as bad as you think, by the way, especially if you embrace the basic logs of, um, of natural logs and, and the properties. So I just see there's just one x hanging around here. Now, unfortunately, it's way high up in the upper hemispheres of the exponent. So I'm going to have to deal with that at some point. But for now, I'm going to proceed like we always proceed whenever we have just one lone x, which is to try to get all the constant stuff to one side and try to get all the x's to, to the other. Well, there's only one x here, and that's here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to move this over by subtracting 1 from both sides. Once I do that, I'll get rid of the 5 by dividing both sides by 5. So those are the first two steps. Let's start there. So first, I'm going to subtract 1 from both sides. So I have 5e to the negative 3x now equals 10. Now I'm going to divide both sides by 5, and I see e to the negative 3x equals, and 10 divided by 5 is 2. OK, awesome. So now that's what I want us to focus on, because now this is coming to the part that's kind of new. So I've got e to the negative 3x equals 2. And what do I want to do? Well, I want to, in some sense, undo this exponential thing, right? this exponent thing. I want to get this down. So how do I undo that? Well, one way is just to use the power property. And remember that if you have log base b of x to the y, that exponent can come out in front as a coefficient, and you just have that log base bx. Why do I like that? It takes an unknown that might be high up and bring it down as a coefficient. So what I should do here is take the, the log base e, or the natural log, of both sides. If I do it to one side, I have to do it to the other side, just like when we square or square root or do anything else. So in this case, what I want to do is I want to take the natural log of both sides. So on this side, I have the natural log of 2, OK, whatever that is. But here, I can actually use the property I just showed you, which is that when you're taking natural log of something with an exponent, that exponent actually becomes a coefficient. So it comes down like that. And what I see now is negative 3x times natural log of e equals natural log of 2. But natural log of e, we know, because that's the log base e of e. So what's the exponent I have to raise e to in order to equal e? Well, it's the first power, so it's 1. So this is just 1. And that's the beauty of doing this. The x is down below where I want it, and that just goes away, so I get 1. So I see negative 3x equals natural log of 2. And I can solve for x. x equals natural log of 2 divided by negative 3. Or you could actually you know, figure this out on a calculator. Take out a calculator or go online. And if you type this in, beep, 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 what's the answer? The answer is negative, of course, 0 0.231, and it goes on and so forth. And if you want to round that to the nearest hundredths, let's say, that would be negative 0 0.23 as an approximation. And you can actually check your answer on a graphing calculator. You can actually graph these things and see. How would you do it? You would graph this function, the function 5 times e to the negative 3x plus 1, and then graph the constant function uh, y equals 11, and ask where do they intersect. That's where they actually have a point in common. And if you do that, what you're going to see is um, a screen that might look something like this. So this is the graph of the 5 times e to the minus 3x plus 1. And this is the graph, the constant graph at 11. You see they intersect, and the computer will spit out the exact value. And notice how close that is to what we said, negative 0.231, blah, 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 blah. And so you can actually even check your answer using a graphing calculator. Absolutely cool. The really important thing, however, is that solving a, an exponential equation sometimes is literally just solving a good old-fashioned equation, but at some point, a new step, taking the log of both sides, turns out to be critical. Cool. And I will see you soon.